battlefield 2042 the hype is real i'm very excited to get into this i'm very excited to continue creating content off of this game itself it's good seeing battlefield finally return to the roots as a fun all-out sandbox of a video game here lately with battlefield 1 and battlefield 5 they tried new things and really ran off a huge player base but alas we arrived back to our roots with battlefield 2042 now during this gameplay we're going to be going over things like their new weapon system where you can customize weapons in real time different vehicles different weapons different specialists and also the gadgets that we're at least shown now if you guys don't know a lot about battlefield if you've only played battlefield 1 battlefield 5 or if this is your first battlefield ever you guys are in for a treat but guys as we discuss things throughout this video please Feel free to interject your comments, concerns with this game or the things that I'm saying in the comment section below. This entire video will have timestamps in it. So if you guys want to go ahead and click different parts of the video, feel free to do that. But without any further ado, let's go ahead and dive into the video. Now, first thing we want to talk about is the new plus system for customizing your weapon in real time. This is amazing. For example, these guys were just navigating inside this building. They were in close quarter combat situations. So they went ahead and came in with a close range build. Now what this gives them the ability to do is actually make a long range build so they can actually fight from rooftop to rooftop or if they want to make it even more close range build which is what these guys do that way when they push across the roof they can get more in your face and again the exciting thing about this for me is i remember having to die to come back with a different loadout to take care of some guy who had me suppressed and i couldn't take out with my current build this right here will eliminate that entire thing and lastly as seen here you're able to actually change the fire rate of your weapons as in past battlefields but it does look like you need to be ads at least for that option to pop up you may be able to change it on the fly without having an ads we don't know for sure but for now that icon only pops up when we're actually ads all right the first vehicle we're going to go ahead and cover is the ah 64 gx apache war chief now this is of course a futuristic apache and as you guys see here he's got some rockets he's got some heat seeking missiles as well as flares and a self-repair kit now if this is anything like battlefield 4 you should be able to change a lot of these variety of weapons from your primary secondary to your self-defense and of course your perk we're not sure exactly what we're going to have the choose from right now but i would imagine there's going to be a huge variety to select from because there was a lot to choose from in battlefield 4. and the ability to customize your loadout and your vehicles is crucial and you guys that have played battlefield 4 you remember it vastly changed the dynamic of air-to-air -air combat air-to-ground combat other things like that and you really have to kind of nitpick your vehicle in real time based on how your teammates and the enemies are actually playing for the second helicopter that we were able to see was the nightbird the md540 nightbird now unfortunately we we're not able to get in the cockpit of that so we were not actually able to see the hud and our weapon systems and other things like that but i would imagine it would play a similar role in the battlefield like the little bird did in battlefield 4. now in this vehicle right here you do see that there is a pilot and you have an eyeball and the eyeball to me indicates a spotter if you look at the trailer and beforehand and i will show you right here you do see the camera mounted on the bottom of the helicopter i'm assuming with the night bird that seat is literally just all it is is a pinging system you just ping out enemies and you direct the pilot on where to go you also do have two passenger seats, of course, where players like this one are just leaning out of the helicopter, able to shoot their weapons, throw grenades, things like that. Unfortunately, also, we did not get to see inside the Russian hind. The Russian helicopter looked absolutely amazing as it just blitzed down the entire rooftop of this building. Now, to me, from this trailer, it looks like the guns on the side are actually firing independently. One looks to be going a whole different direction than the other, as well as the fact that one started shooting well before the second one did. So I do not think that these are actually pilot controlled weapons because of the two independent guns. I'm going to go ahead off a whim and say that these are actually controlled by the passengers. I may be wrong, but that would be absolutely amazing if you can get an attack helicopter that can be controlled by four players. Also want to point out that the Condor does seem to have a gun on it. You only see one shooting and it looks like there are two, but you do see that the Condor itself is firing, which gives you a little bit of insight. Maybe the pilot's got control of that. Maybe the passenger does. Here we get a better look at the Osprey. And again, I'm not exactly sure what is going to be controlled by who and things like that, but we do see that there are two massive machine guns mounted in the front and like we saw earlier the only one of them was shooting so i don't know if each one's controlled by a different player inside of the actual vehicle itself um it also looks like there's a spotter camera right there as well and of course my favorite things because i was a pilot in all of the battlefields that's all i do is the su-57 and the f-35 now unfortunately again we could not see inside the hud system and things like that we can't really analyze and break down these aircraft but in this scene here you do see the f-35 hovering which means it does have VTOL capabilities we're not really too surprised that we have had that previously like in battlefield 4. here's a look at the m1a5 and i'm glad that this one doesn't have any players in it um, because it actually shows you what each seat does and it's going to be a very versatile vehicle not just for the driver but for the players themselves that are riding in it as well 
in this trailer we were able to get a good look at the two new specialists sundance and delta now sundance does have a wingsuit however because nothing lights up down here i do think it just replaces the parachute it's not actually an equipment it just replaces it all together and then you also have a look at delta who looks to be espinoza from the previous trailer and of course that brings the riot shield now right here it looks like he actually deploys the riot shield i don't know if it's a different specialist or not but you can see right here there is a deployed riot shield so i'm very excited for that feature i think that would be a great thing for battlefield now what separates battlefield from other games like call of duty is just the fact that little things like that can drastically change the environment for the map entirely let's say you have a hallway that's huge that's usually a huge choke point if you just add different things or blow out different walls it's going to make that entire hallway useless and you'll notice people are rotating to different areas to get more kills to hold different choke points and it just makes the entire map usable now as far as gadgets i was hoping for a longer trailer and unfortunately all we got was this little three minute trailer but we got to be thankful for what we have and we do have mckay's grapple gun as we see here now when he's grappling i cannot tell if he actually is able to manually release from the grapple i really hope that's the case i think that would make the battlefield a lot more fun to play around with as well you could actually grapple onto buildings and swing your way over to different areas um if it is a system to where it just grapples pulls you towards that and then releases at a certain point that may not have as drastic of an impact in this game as players are hoping for if you have an enemy camping on top of a small building and he's holding the only doorway up there you'll be able to grapple up there and take care of that camping piece of shit no problem at all so i love to see things like that in the game now as far as maria she does have that pistol that can heal and revive at range i'm not sure exactly the range I'm sure there is a limit to how far you can revive, otherwise that would be super broken. But she should also have a defibrillator to actually revive players close range. As far as the zip lines are concerned, I'm pretty sure it's just from building the building. They're already pre-mounted. I don't believe anyone's got a specialist for them. I may be wrong. Um, it would be a cool specialist thing to have, but I do think just based on how they're mounted, that it is actually just part of the map itself. Now, as far as combat, again, with limited information that we got, you do notice that there's a compass that pops up when you're ads now i'm not sure why the compass only pops up at the bottom of the screen when you're ads i don't understand why it couldn't be on the top of the screen the entire time like most games nowadays are made granted when you're playing maybe your my opinion will change maybe it's a customization option where you can actually pop it up all the time maybe not we'll see with that but as you guys can see here this is a new feature in battlefield so when you're ads you can actually give out call outs accurate call outs to your squad members now with that thought, I'm thinking that maybe Battlefield would want to get to a more team-based gameplay, which brings me to my next point, pings. I do believe that you'll be able to ping enemies in this game. For how long, I'm not sure. Maybe the ping will last the same amount as Warzone, just a few seconds and then it's gone. But I'm pretty optimistic for a pinging system. It would be amazing in this game, especially since people can snipe at such long ranges in Battlefield series. It's going to be crucial for taking those guys out. Now, as you guys can see in the weapons, we do have the K30. We also have the M44 revolver, which I'm betting is going to be an absolute beast and we also have the tg24 bolt action sniper that i'm very excited for there's nothing more fun than gauging your entire situation with the sniper scoping it in hitting that long range shot from a mile out and getting the kill and lastly before we get into my opinions and thoughts the natural disasters seem to be amazing the tornado brings a whole different effect it even looks like the closer you get to the storm your HUD just goes absolutely apeshit, almost kind of like an EMP. There's a little bit of effect. I don't think it'll be that drastic. You also notice the player raise his hand. Now I'm curious that if you're too close to the storm, can you ADS? Can you not ADS? Is it just a graphic thing? Does it just look like that until you actually ADS? And then you put your hand down and grab your weapon. Very curious about that. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Now, one thing that's cool about the storm is when you look at the helicopters, either A, he just kamikaze the building for no reason, or B, he actually lost control of the vehicle while he got caught in the tornado which is crucial of course for realism effect but it's also a very cool effect to watch sandstorm we saw it back in battlefield 4 on gulf of oman where sandstorm came through and it was almost impossible to see the enemy this doesn't look as drastic you can actually see a little bit more depth on the battlefield than you could in battlefield 4 but little storms like this can really change the entire gameplay of both teams now i don't think that every map's going to have something like this like a sandstorm or tornado but i do believe we're going to see maybe one or two more things that we haven't seen yet on other maps now as far as call of duty and battlefield are concerned these two titans have not gone head to head since battlefield 4 and call of duty ghost that was the last two huge titles by those publishing companies that actually competed with each other now what game did better is completely up for debate and those of you out there with different consoles are probably wondering how many players will it be supported on this console on pc and the next gen consoles it will be 128 player lobbies 
with the older xbox and the ps4 it will only be 64 player lobbies which seems like a huge drag but it won't be 64 players has been great throughout the history of battlefield and i do imagine that they may even tweak the maps a little bit now as far as the hud the hud seems a little bit big i'm not it's not a big deal to me this is basically the same size as i, I believe in battlefield 4 but i have seen a lot of concerns on twitter about saying oh my god the hud is huge can we adjust the size i'm also curious if you can adjust the size i would imagine you can maybe even with a field of view slider it might adjust the size with the field of view we're not sure yet but i'm anxious to see if that is the case all right we're just going to cover a few different slides we're not going to go too into it because this would be an hour-long video but basically one thing that does concern me about this game is going to be the variety now i was talking earlier about hoping that there's a variety of different vehicles in the game and i'm pretty optimistic that there will be there always has been but the few maps that we've seen usually have the same vehicles intertwined this could be done on purpose just to keep a surprise factor but it is a concern i do have you can see in the distance they do have the condor they have the apache as well as the nightbird on top of that now again that is featured in almost every single map we've seen so far so i'm wondering if there's actually going to be any other vehicles now the second thing with this slide that, that's a little confusing to me and it could be explained easily with one thing is the fact that everyone's parachuting in right there's a bunch of vehicles going in there's a transport vehicle an apache you got you got the nightbird and you have another chopper over here so why do we have all these players floating in are we floating from one area to another is this like a mountain we're all jumping off of to go to the next point or is this going to be a spawn point of itself is there going to be an area where you actually spawn in the sky and you float down to the objective wouldn't be a bad idea definitely not ideal i'd rather spawn at a point like d over here and then walk my way i feel like if you're floating in the air you just leave yourself to get sniped in the face and in battlefield if you guys know there are some really good snipers in this game this is one of the cooler aspects of the trailer that i'm actually excited for is calling in vehicles now i am i do have a concern about this um and we'll talk about that in a second but i do like this a lot i feel like if you don't have to go all the way back to your spawn to get a vehicle and you can just call them in in real time it's again constant action but my fear sets in with the fact of battlefront battlefront worked off of a point system in order to get aircraft and get in vehicles i really hope that this game does not have a point system for vehicles now a lot of people might think it needs that because vehicles are broken this and that blah 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 remember battlefield is not intended to be an esports competitive game if players want to be in vehicles all the time let them be in vehicles all the time of course to a limit you don't want 15 helicopters flying around the map but i do like the idea of oh shit, someone's got my helicopter someone's got my tank let me just call one in very curious to see if it's going to be a point system or if you're just rewarded a vehicle after a certain amount of time but guys i really hope you enjoyed the video if you did leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you guys want some more battlefield content but until next time you all have a good one and get ready for battlefield